Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 229. That is, what is the difference between smoke testing and sanity testing? Let me answer. So what is the difference between smoke testing and sanity testing? So coming to the smoke testing, it's the first testing guys, okay? Out of all the types of testing, the first testing the software testers will perform after receiving the application build from the developers is smoke testing, okay? Once we receive the application from the developers for testing, the first testing that testers or software testers will perform is nothing but smoke testing, guys, okay? That's a number one point you have to understand about smoke testing, okay? So in smoke testing, what exactly we have to test? Why we have to test it first and uh, what are the things that we generally test? Here in smoke testing, guys, before accepting the build for in detail testing, okay? Before accepting the build received from the developers for in detail testing or before doing the in detail testing, the software testers will perform high level testing, not in depth testing. High level means only few test cases for each and every area of the application, important area of the application like that, okay? So only few test cases of that particular area, okay? High level, at a high level, the major, important and critical areas of the application, not all the areas of the application again, okay? Here only few high level test case of the application, that too of the major important critical areas of the application, not all functionalities of the application, okay? And in less time guys, okay? This mock testing has to be completed in less time. If it is a simple application, it should not take more than 15 minutes. If it is a complex application, it should not be taken more than 30 minutes, okay? We need to be identifying the important major critical areas of the application and we should not be testing all those areas in major important critical areas in depth, we should not be testing. We should be testing only few test cases for this major important critical areas and that too in very less time, we have to say that. So in that less time, once the smoke testing is done, either we have to accept the build or reject the build, okay? The moment the developers have given the build for you, you started smoke testing and within 15 minutes or 30 minutes, you have to either accept the build for in-detail testing or reject the build for in-detail testing, okay? So if the major important critical areas of the application which are tested at a high level in less time are working fine, then definitely you are going to accept the build, right? You will go for the in-detail testing. Accepting means you will go for in-detail testing. But what if this, uh, this major important critical areas of the application which are tested at a high level, that high level scenarios are also not working fine, okay? There are defects. In that case, what you will do? We will first report the defects for the areas that is the major important critical areas of that high level testing, whatever we have done, right? Which are not working fine. For that, we'll report the defects and we'll put an email to the developer stating that, okay, we tested so and so major important critical areas of the application at a high level. Okay, the important test cases of this major important critical areas of the application we tested and we came across so and so defects in this particular areas. Hence, we cannot proceed for in-depth testing or in detail testing, okay? Hence, we are rejecting the build and we will be waiting for the next build, which will pass our smoke testing. Like that, we'll put an email to the developers and send it back to the developers, okay? This is what is smoke testing, guys, okay? Hope you understood why, why smoke testing and what is the purpose of the smoke testing. But what about sanity testing? Though the names look similar, but they are entirely different, guys. Smoke testing is completely different and sanity is completely different, okay? So they, uh, just people ask in the interviews because uh, it, Smoke testing starts with S and sanity also starts with S, but they are entirely different types of testing guys, okay? So it, I don't feel that they have to be compared, but since uh, they have they are being asked in the interview because they look like synonymous, right? Smoke, sanity look similar, okay? So here what happens is in sanity testing, let's understand it separately guys, okay? Here impacted areas of the application are tested in depth. Why the areas of the application in the previous version, there were some functionalities which are working fine. In the next build, whatever the developers have gave to you, there may be some impacted areas. Why impacted areas? Because developers have changed the code in that areas. Those areas got impacted, okay? So why the areas of the application, why the code changes happen? There may be different reasons why the areas may be impacted, okay? Because of the code changes by the developer, the few areas of the application may get impacted, okay? They may get changed. They may not work uh, as in the earlier builds like they are working, okay? They may not work in the latest build, okay? Because the code changes happened in them. But what are the different reasons why code changes will happen and why the developers have to change the code? Maybe the de developer want to introduce a new functionality because of introducing a new functionality, some areas of the application got impacted, okay? That may be one thing. Or next thing maybe 
modified functionality okay modifying means either updating the functionality or removing the functionality some existing functionality got uh, upgraded or made better or uh, it got updated or it removed okay so it's not required so removed okay in whatever the cases code has been touched in that area or some other uh, nearby areas may also get affected okay and also the defects that are reported by software testers in the pre previous version of the build may have got fixed in those areas of the application whatever the reason may be the code changes happened and whatever the because of this code changes uh, because of this new functionality modified functionality and bug fixes whatever the code changes happen some areas of the application may get impacted okay if we know the areas of the application that got impacted due to the code changes done by the developer then we have to perform in depth testing of these areas okay without missing even a single test case of that particular area of the application the impacted area of the application because of the code changes done by developer we have to test in depth from starting to ending only for that impacted areas not for the entire application those impacted areas of the application need to be tested in depth and this testing is known as sanity testing okay so since we are testing in depth those impacted areas not all the areas it's it's generally called as a subset of regression testing okay so what is the difference between regression and sanity testing in sanity testing you are testing all the test cases related to the impacted areas in depth okay what about regression testing you are irrespective of whether the areas got impacted or not all the areas of the application okay it's not only the impacted areas all the areas of the application you will be testing in depth in regression testing hence sanity testing is known as a subset of the regression testing guys okay so now you understood what is the difference between smoke testing and sanity testing they are entirely different guys their uh, case is different but since the name looks similar this uh, is this kind of questions are generally asked in the interviews if you can answer this kind of uh, uh, like this if you can answer uh, it will be all good guys okay so so hope guys uh, you got the answer for what is the difference between smoke testing and sanity testing in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye